Well, I'll tell you. If you wanted to get a cop on cop on cop speeding, um, this is what this is what I would do personally as America's man's man. Because being a former fake news anchor, uh, I mean, because let's face it, it looks like the media can can get the cops to do pretty much anything they want, and uh, and the methods that they usually use, you gotta you gotta play the sensational ang- angle. So you gotta get the you gotta get the viewers. You, you gotta think like a like a professional uh, fake news ragman, right? <clears throat> and that is, you got to stir up as much logicless passion in your viewers as possible. So, so really, um, what they have done there now there are primal triggers you could use, um, meaning there's kind of instinctive stuff. Like you could use the old Russian propaganda bit of uh, the woman in pain, right? So, so for instance, if we were to do if we were to go that route. Um, maybe you'd you'd, uh, you'd have one story. You'd dredge up one story from the annals of history about a cop uh, running over a, a beautiful woman, right? So they're a classically beautiful woman. So that that that's the one way you can do it. Now, then there are secondary triggers. There there are things that the media has used primary triggers to program the audience to get riled up about certain buzzwords. So uh, like so. For instance, you play the race card, okay? Um, so if you if you somehow can tie racism uh, in or something phobia, phobia is really big in the news. So so if you can somehow tie that to say, for instance, uh, you know this one time when this cop was speeding and, and somewhere in I don't know maybe uh, oh Minnesota or Minneapolis, and this one time that the cop was speeding. He happened to run over a black dude, okay? And, and that, you know, that is absolutely, um, you know, that will totally uh, get everybody, that'll get all the fake news outlets on your side. If it's like, well, you know, in light of this event that happens like 20 years ago when this one cop was speeding and so he was going way too fast and he ran over a black, or if you want to make it more local, more uh, tangible for, for the more logically minded, but those who are still under the influence of the fake news, the most dangerous drug of all. Um, <clears throat> what you could do uh, to, you know, to really get the public outraged about this this cop who's speeding. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's 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 a very hard sell because because basically there's there's just kind of a a rule. Uh, I didn't learn it in driver's ed, but but a uh, you know an adult taught it to me. It says basically you know when you're on the back roads. You know, you're you're generally okay, give or take five miles an hour, and then on on the freeways, it's more like ten. Uh, in New Hampshire and te- Massachusetts, they're they're very they're very 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 strict. Um, uh, but but uh, people in Massachusetts kind of take out their driving anger in other ways, like uh, they don't know what a passing lane is, and. Um, <laughs> They don't. They don't know what a. They they just they just kind of sit in the lane and go as as slow as they want and, and just expect you. Even though they could very well move over, but, um, but anyway. So so how do you get? <laughs> how would you how would you stir up false outrage over this over this cop committing this dastardly deed? Um, well, you could say that uh, you could say that only uh, you could say that this was a, a, only the white cop they, you could you could um, you could get you could dredge up this one example where uh, where a black uh, a black policeman uh, was pulled over for speeding but all the white cops could speed so you could you could kind of create this this myth based on one um, one obscure example somewhere in history somewhere far away from here uh, about this one time <laughs> Uh, these these uh, these these white cops were allowed to speed, and the black cops were not. And and that would be another way you could uh, you could dredge up, um, you could create f- uh, public outcry uh, for the uh, for the for for the, for for the cops who who speed. Um, and of course, if he were black, then you, you could um, you could figure out another scheme, like you could play some other discrimination. Like in other words, if you're trying to defend the black cop who's speeding. Uh, or if you're if you're trying to get the black cop who's speeding, um, then you you just need to find again the thinking with the mind of a fake news anchor, and I've been trained in the art and science of fake news. Um, you'd uh, if if it were a black cop who's uh, speeding and you're trying to get him, 
um, then you, that, that narrative uh, may not uh, may not play so well. I mean, I guess you could say it's anti uh, anti white racism uh, that you know you only allow the black cops to speed, not the white cops to speed. The media has kind of uh, created a um, kind of programmed people against that, so that that wouldn't uh, that probably wouldn't play well. But maybe maybe. Um, <clears throat> Maybe you could you could play an age discrimination angle. Uh, you could uh, try to think like a uh, like a sadistic Massachusetts bureaucrat uh, here for just a moment. Uh, and I I can't I'm not really in the habit of doing that. But um, but they they're so successful. They're so successful at, at taking down good people in the fake news media. I um uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I know that's all I got for now. But I'll, I'll think about it and see how we can uh, see how we can uh, uh, stir up some real public. I would cry against those uh, speeding cops, those uh, those dastardly uh, <laughs> police officers. Uh, this is America's man's man.